Hey everybody, it's Josh from Collection DX here with another review. This time it is the Star Wars Revo R2-D2. That's the Star Wars Revoltec R2-D2 made by Kyoto in collaboration with Figure Complex. So here you can see the box. It's very large compared to what you think you're going to get. Um, maybe there's uh, some you know, accessories or stands. I just don't know yet. We'll see. Um, back has nice uh, pictures of the finished figure. By all accounts, so far it looks really nice. So let's uh, let's tear into this bad boy and see what we got. As you can see, we took R2 out of the box, and that is a lot of wasted space in a package. Uh, there are no accessories. There is no stand. You get R2 and the wheeled base. That is it. Not much else to speak of. There's no instructions sheet. There's no... That's it. That's what you got. So here we have the Revoltec R2-D2. And for comparison's sake, here is a vintage R2-D2. And for no reason so ever, there's that thing. Right, so it's a Revoltec. What does that mean? Well, it uses Revoltec joints. Um, little clicky joints with two pins on them. You think, how can you use Revoltec joints with R2-D2? Like, well, maybe in the legs and maybe in the head, you know. It sounds like that's probably what we're going to be able to do here. Well, you'll see in a minute that they don't do much. So, first we see that we have a removable center foot. That, well, you think, hey, that could be a Revoltec joint. It's not. All right. So, R2-D2 looks good. No wheels on the feet. Head turns. Uh, a nice little feature here is when you rotate the eye here, it changes colors from blue to red. The dome rotates, and it's removable, as you can see, it is hollow, and once again, this is a Revoltec pin, but it is not a Revoltec joint. Okay, so you have some movement like that. You have some leg movement here, and you can see how easily that came out. Here is an honest to goodness Revoltec joint. There's one of those in each legs, in each leg, but surprisingly not in there. Uh, this once again is a, just a, a peg, not a Revoltec joint. So, yeah, um, does anything pop open here at the top? No. Um, all right, does maybe some of the doors open? It's certainly a big enough scale. No. Um, so what does it do? Well, you say you can add the third leg like so. to do this. But watch this. Look at that. It just comes right off. Awesome. Um, you could, in theory, rotate these little Revoltec pegs in such a way that maybe he could stand on one leg. I, I can't get them to move. And they're rather light. So, what it does have for gimmick is this little base here. This base is a pullback motor. And you basically plug in the legs, plug in the base, and there goes R2. Now, look at the size of that base. You mean to tell me that you can't put a couple of little rotors in those wheels without that giant base? I don't know. I mean, it's neat that R2 can zoom around, but it doesn't really do anything. I mean, yeah, it looks nice. The proportions are fine. It's a good looking R2, but if you're going to spend what you spend on a Revoltec, which is about $37 US, I kind of expect it to do a little more. I mean, the Black Series R2, while not great, is only 20 bucks. Is not that much smaller than this, and heck comes a lot of accessories. This, I mean, yes, it's nice. Yes, the quality is good. The detail and the little uh, 
leg things that are fine, but you know, not for almost forty dollars. So I don't know. I'm disappointed. It'll look good on my shelf, but I wish for knowing Revoltech and Kyoto, they could have put little doors that open, with little Revoltech joints with little arms on it. Sensor scope could have popped up. Lightsaber could have fit in there. Could have had a couple of different heads. You know, if you didn't want to build in the, the lightsaber feature, you could have put some electronics in there. A, a couple of watch batteries and a switch to make the eyes light up and make a little noise. You could have pulled that shit off for 40 bucks. No problem. But instead, we get a giant box with a very basic R2. Which, like I said, will look fine on your shelf if you're just going to put it up and let it stand there. But there are much better options out there for you. It's Josh from Collection DX. See you next time.